Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. So today we're taking a look at something really cool uh, provided by Torch SA for review. This is the Olight Marauder 2. Um, this is a beast of an 800 meter thrower and a combination of a 14,000 lumen um, sort of uh, widespread light. I can't think of the term now. I've been dying to review the Olight Marauder Mini for some time. However, this came up. It's not a brand new unit. Um, it's a sort of like a demo unit. And uh, yeah, the packaging is always really interesting. Um, five year warranty on these. Really, really cool. Excuse all the stickers. Let's get down a little bit closer to the back. And just have a look at some of this. So they read you. The Marauder 2 is an upgraded version of the X7R Marauder. A large LED uh, has been added to the center of the head to enable an 800 meter spotlight beam. Uh, 12 small LEDs circle the edge to create 14,000 lumen floodlights. It has two switches, brightness level and the mode knob. Built in 54 watt hour rechargeable battery pack, lithium ion, USB-C rechargeable. Really, really cool. Spec. Here you go into the spec over here. Floodlight, level 1, 200 lumens. You get around 40 hours of runtime, 55 meters of range. Level 2, 400 lumens, 22 hours, 75 meters. Level 3, 800 lumens, 13 hours, 110 meters throw. Pretty good that. 1,600 lumens, 7 hours, 155 meters. 3,200 lumens, you were talking now we're getting up to where my Nebo Da Vinci 5000 is. Um, 4 hours 30 minutes, 215 meters. L6, 6,400 lumens, 3 hours 15, 300 meters. So the Da Vinci 5000 falls at 5,000 lumens between these two. Um, as for the rest of the spec, I don't know. But this one already, we're more than the Da Vinci 5000. Um, Level 7, 14,000 lumens, 3 hours, 10 minutes runtime. That's incredible runtime for that amount of light. 450 meters. On the spotlight, goes from 50 lumens. For 200 meters throw, 59 hours. You can see, I'm not going to go through all of these. Up to 850 lumens, 6 hours, 40 minutes, 800 meters throw. That's incredible. Let's dive in and take a look and see what's in the box. As I said, this is an already opened unit. Let me just zoom out here. This is already a open box, so you can see the protective form is already off. Um, get inside here. And there you pretty much have it. You've got the USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. You've got an O-Lite. I stand to correction, but I believe this is a 30 watt. Olight uh, power brick for charging. I'll leave that in here for now. And you got the Olight Marauder 2 itself. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible light. So let's get all this other paraphernalia out of the way and take a look at this torch. So there, I think we can get in a little bit closer now. Yep, that's good enough. So, there you have the Marauder 2. Got this fins here for heat. This interesting blue edge, which kind of resembles um, some of my other O lights that I have, uh, such as the Seeker 3, which has a very similar sort of styling on the front. Uh, really cool that. You have your main control switch, you've got your flood spot um, uh, interesting lanyard I'm hoping this is the actual lanyard that comes with it and it wasn't added aftermarket but yeah that's pretty cool um, this area here is all a contoured rubber grip which gives it a nice feel when you're holding this in your hand um, as for charging you'll see there's a charge port over there you can open it up, 
charge your torch and you can use this for charging your mobile phone um, it actually works as a battery bank I don't think I'd ever do that with a torch doesn't make sense for my applications really really nice yeah you can see the ring of LEDs for the flood and then the lens for the spot with the LED down in there you can't really see it properly but it gives you an idea of the lighting this is a glass front obviously because of the heat now utilization of this torch if you try and push the button nothing's going to happen you're just going to get your power and your battery indicator which again your battery indicator you can just sort of make it out there and your power indicator is this side so to get in closer there you can see it but it doesn't come on the way to turn this on is you've got to turn this around 90 degrees at least then you can click the button and then you start getting your torch on now this is in daylight so you're not going to really see the results of this and then this on the left here is the power as you increase it's protecting because it's too close to the wood at the moment so it won't go to full brightness however if you open it up it can but I mean this is incredibly bright you can see you put your hand in front of there the torch goes into protections yeah it gets quite warm actually so that you don't burn yourself so that's the one part of it that is now with these outer LEDs then you can go to a spotlight which is now that sensor lens you can see the mode difference floodlight spotlight now where you're really going to see this is tonight when I put this guy on at night for testing this is when you're really going to see how this flashlight shines um, as for size comparison if you wanted to compare this to the DaVinci 5000 from Nebo I don't even think they need to be in the same uh, sort of frame you can see the Nebo is a longer but thinner torch also quite heavy um, slightly different styling I personally enjoy this Nebo I mean it's a fantastic flashlight um, it, it gets a lot of work done similar sort of functionality when it comes to working as a battery bank etc but I personally prefer the form factor of this Olight Marauder um, well Marauder 2 compare it to the Seeker 3 in size you can see there's the little Olight Seeker 3 this has been a really good flashlight to me it's performed impeccably no issues at all I keep it in my EDC backpack with its four little LEDs this is pretty much all I'd ever need in a day-to-day -day basis length more or less the same it's just the width on this guy here that completely blows the Seeker 3 out of the water and also the fact that this is 14,000 lumens this is probably 3,000 so a hell of a big difference I need to verify that figure there by the way again this one magnetically charged but yeah still love my Seeker 3 and uh, this Marauder 2 is a really really interesting beast and I think for us to really appreciate what this is capable of we're going to have to wait for nightfall tonight and then go through this flashlight uh, its different modes its power levels and compare it possibly with a few others that I have in the stable here to compare against so let's head on into nightfall right so I've got my camera manually set um, as you can see you can't really see much except for some lights in the distance so we're gonna rotate this guy power one so because it's on manual you can see there we're probably getting about 50 meters out 30 meters 30 to 50 meters away go up one more So that's level two, so level one, level three. You can see the back of the yard quite fine. Level four, five, 
six, seven, and I believe that's four blasts. As you can see, good 50 meters down, no problems at all. Uh, yeah, that's actually ridiculous. And then the spot beam, this gives you an idea of how far away that actually is. That's that big ass tree there. It's pretty incredible how powerful this torch really is. I mean, that being your spotlight, you can see all the definition on the trees over there. There's the stump going up top of the tree. Just to give you an idea, Let's head on in a different direction. See those trees in the distance over there? It's about 100 meters away. No problems at all. This little bush is not. But those are. And we can definitely go further. There we're getting out to 150 meters. Again, no issue at all. This torch is absolutely insane I mean it's incredible how much light this thing throws and in flood mode I mean guys take a look at this boom this entire backyard is daylight it's ridiculous I mean that's just the throw off on the side of the torch here you come with the center and you can see what I mean I mean wow from there To that it's absolutely insane how bright this torch really is i mean there's nothing that i would miss in this entire garden even at more or less half the power i'm still lighting up this entire yard without any issues at all sure you don't see the tree being lit so much but trust me my eyesight can still see this tree pretty clearly let me try and get it to where it's sort of on par with my eyesight just to give you guys an idea there we go so what I'm physically seeing is currently what the camera is physically showing this is an exact reproduction more or less of what my eyes are seeing so off that's pretty much what I'm seeing on on low my eyes are still seeing a bit of light hitting those trees over there minimal but this is a very good indication of what i'm seeing and we're on about a third pretty good there and of course max blast that is exactly what i'm seeing it's incredible it's actually too much light for your eyes it's ridiculous how powerful this thing is there's the fence way back there. Beautiful. So yeah, that just gives you an indication of how much light this torch can throw. Now, as you can see, again, I was talking about those trees in the distance. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot even comprehend the amount of light this thing throws off. I mean, that's me casting a shadow from the tripod. Wow. So, for me, yeah, down on about one third power is probably more than I would need for most of my sort of outdoor adventures or explorations. And if I need to get in the distance, there you have it. You can see the entire tree line, no problems at all. And this thing does give off quite a bit of heat, I must say. You can see the beam it's throwing out there. It's a monster, guys. Up into the sky. Now you're actually seeing the beam from this torch. It's incredible. Never seen something with so much throw and capability on it.
but yeah if you guys are looking for a the ultimate flashlight definitely check out the marauder 2 from olight this thing is an entire monster in a fairly compact package to say the least so there you have it let's go to the beam there you have the beam heading out into the night sky absolutely insane well guys i think that pretty much concludes this video thanks all for watching hope you have a good one and until next time take care hey guys so just to conclude this is a very stocky yet powerful searchlight slash flashlight slash torch whatever you want to call it and i think it's absolutely bloody fantastic for what it offers the power level 14,000 lumens is ridiculous this thing here lights up a massive yard like it's daylight it's absolutely incredible the sort of power that this flashlight has i don't foresee it being used at that power level very often but the fact that you can is really really great next step for this bad boy is version two of this review is we're going to get this guy out into the drakensberg mountains and do some further testing on it but that will be shown in my next up and coming adventure video i will call that um part two of the olight marauder 2 review and i'm really really looking forward to that guys until next time take care